isn't this strange? So I had a look at Sheik's video, which was a week old, and I saw Mark's comment. I thought, I'll go to his channel. And when I went to his channel, this is how I got here, I realised that he had a recent and oldest video option on his channel. So I thought, I wonder if I just Google my channel, whether there'd be a recent and older video option. And there was. So I found this. I've linked it to Julie's, uh, the upload about Julie when she mentioned Seven Mountains. I've linked it to the bottom, but I thought I am just going to play a wee clip, maybe to spark your interest, to watch it about the church. I, I'm not going to put a whole lot of videos up from, this is three years ago when I first started on, when the Lord told me to upload on YouTube, right? <clears throat> it's probably about my fifth video, and it's actually not a backlog of scribe words. It's a new one. Every now and then I throw a new dream in. So hopefully when I play it, the sound. Just to love on people. I didn't think I was, it was a God dream. Like I said, I felt flat. I woke and I was just about to jump out of bed because I, I normally um, had my red book right next to me and I write and I thought, well, I've got nothing to write. I'm going to, you know, jump out of bed now. And then God said to me, okay, this is why I'm squeezing this one in. He said, upload your next post with the heading Seven Mountains, Billy Graham, Hillsong, Saddleback Church. I'm a wee bit worried about the Saddleback Church. It's too obvious. But I think he said Saddleback Church. But definitely Seven Mountains, Billy Graham and Hillsong. No. So I got out, sat by my pond, and I sensed the Lord saying, now I'm resorting to some sensationalism. I felt God was saying, I know how it works. I know how you work. I know how it works. I know how you work. Now, I'm coming from a background. Six weeks ago, the Lord told me that I was ignorant. I have young adult children who have uh, many, many a time, well, one in particular, many a time pushed me to have a look at these conspiracy theories and they've sent links and so forth. And I've, um, I've been stubborn. I know what it's like to not be open to think that this isn't where I'm going to hear the Lord but anyway um, I've come across some and I think very close, very close after that maybe that night I was going to shun it once again and push it away and God said to me you're you're ignorant ignorant so no, I love it he, he does that I'm ignorant I can I receive it I have no problem with that he loves me so I'm ignorant so I've been looking and I have been open and I have been shelving a lot of things, and I normally will not listen to anything that sounds like it's against uh, the move of the Holy Spirit, because I very, very much, I very, I really believe in the move of the Holy Ghost, and there are a lot of um, posts out there like that, but then there's your basic conspiracy theorists, and some of that is coming from Christians oh. as well now as um, non-Christians, so very broad spectrum and some of it is just so far out which just in the last couple of week has really thrown me but i'm still open because god's told me to be um someone very close to me who's watching them as well has, has shut down so um god's told me not to shut down to it and to stay open so basically he knows about it <clears throat> so now he's resorting to sensationalism which is what i see you know you post if you post something uh, what you what you post it as your heading, your description is the search engines go. That's how you find it. So this is my post. My next post is Seven Mountains, Billy Graham, Hillsong, and Saddleback Church. I'm doing it out of obedience to what God has said. Uh, I, I have that word. I've always had this word. Um, I'm. I think we all we are all serving God in one way or another, and I think 
I believe that it's, God's given me that scripture about the master. He has many vessels in his oh. household. And some are for noble use and some are for ignoble use. And um, we've all been used for noble and ignoble use. Let's be honest. That's what I was talking about. Um, you know, where are you in your household? Are you a persecutor? Or are you one that's rising up being persecuted? Either way, I mean, it's happening all the time. Um, you know, there's a mix. But like, there is, it, it's possible to, to not have a mix. I know that this trip up the mountain, this, this searching, the seeking, going up the mountain, the mix is gone. God has said, I'm speaking to you in everything now. So I had that security, I had that peace. So we're, you, you will come to that place, you will come to that place where you won't be confused. Um, you'll know, you know, you'll, you'll know, you'll have the discernment. But basically, um, you know, I have no concern about um, about these ministries. Is you know, these ministries because God is in control. He is the one who decides. He is the one that allows us to be used for noble or ignoble use. I am being used. I have. An, I am a noble vessel. Um, you, you, I hope, are noble vessels that you may be alongside or know vessels that are being used for ignoble use. Have peace in that. Have peace in that. Um, God is in control and he has covered that in scripture. He, he is in control of that. And so this is not a judgment on those people. Um, it's confirming in scripture. It's scriptural. Not that I'd go out to be ignoble, but it's scriptural. God's addressed it. So I sense my first task today is to lift up Anita, which I have just done on that last video, and the prophetic word she has given, and I took notes on this. So here she has some credibility, but people aren't listening. God is raising up prophets, hidden prophets, but people are not listening. How could we get God to resort to this level? the level of sensationalism of this next video. How, how, can we, how can we get God to resort to that level of us? What if we brought him, if we brought him down that far that he has to do it? Why would he want to do that? Why would he want to be on that level, that whole YouTube channel level, the Facebook, the banter, the attacks, the, the truth? that's in there in the untruths I suppose why? why would he do that? because he loves us he could do it in a number of different ways like there are more befitting ways for him to reach us that's, that's sort of what I think you know that's what probably everyone who's hearing this thinking why would he do that get Lisa to post those sensationalist things so that she can get people to watch and hear what she's saying well God said have I got your attention now listen to Lisa so when we debate God's intentions in this and the way in which is the vehicle which is the way in which he's doing it. He says that this is looking through man's eyes. It's what's acceptable to man. This is unacceptable. It's not acceptable to me, but this is looking through man's eyes. Our ways are not his ways. But God is speaking to us on our channel because he loves us and the time is now. He's coming down on earth. He came down on earth. Jesus came on down on, down on earth to, to meet with us. Why wouldn't he speak on our channel? He loves us and the time is now. So. Bye. Love you. Mm. Funny. So funny. So funny watching myself back then. Um, I'll just see if I can no, I can't get back. Um, okay. Oh, don't move, Glory. Um, <clears throat> I've still got time. I'm just... I'll find my channel again. I'll show you. 
Oh, here we go. Here's my channel. This is what I found out I can do. Videos. Sort by oldest. Here we go. It's me. See? Now. Two thousand eighteen was that three year, two years ago? No, it's funny how they do that, eh? Let me see if the Lord asks me to do anything else. Outside the gates. Shall have a look at that one? Would that be Matthew 11, 22? One view. Hi. <laughs> um, right, this is a two-part word. I'm sharing this word. It was written on the 9th of September. It's... 2018. An account of roughly what happened um, with a girl who's in my life called, she's called Amy, God calls her Amy. She's got a call on her life, but at the moment she's really manifesting. Um, now this is really good because Oh, look at my eyes. This will help me. If I can play this one in the next one, it's about Amy. This will help me bring this the second part of this word about the dream. Um, where Amy's presenting to a group about this rock face. And by the time I'm finished sharing this second part. I believe you will have a heart for the harvest and you will have an idea what the harvest is, who they are. All right? <coughs> Got my eyes. Okay, let's have a go. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to listen to it. <laughs> Some of spirits. And this is an example Probably the best example of when she was in my presence, these spirits manifested pretty clearly. So I just want to share it with you and also share some of the things that she said that I believe give us some insight into what's happening in the demonic realm. Um, I myself haven't ever walked the, the walk she'd walked. Um, in the, on the dark side, <laughs> you could say. Um, I do mention a deliverance that I had that I can relate to her on, but uh, pretty much um, had more to do with ancestral spirits rather than anything that. Well, I mean, I'm not missing the force in it, so. Generally, it's handy to know uh, God has been speaking to me through this word, this experience I've had with this girl who calls Amy. It's my daughter. <coughs> I'm trying and not to throw her under the Amy bus. Amy talks about blood-borne pathogens, saliva, spit up, phlegm, that it being like a poison. So when she came to our house, this is at the beginning of this year, she manifested. She said it was a breakdown. No, she manifested. God was there because of me. She had got so deeply involved with Satan at that time that she was unable to keep him in. God brought him out. Exposed him. She said, that she hated Christians, she yelled it in my face, 
And you're the reason for all my problems. I've never seen her like this before. It made me, it makes me think, yes, we are. <laughs> we are the reasons for all your problems, Satan. You'll never be free of us. We're about to arise and you will not be able to inhabit the chosen any longer. You will manifest. And this is my story. Saying to Satan, you will manifest like you did. When I heard the word of the Lord, all those many years ago, when I was first saved. So, Amy, you're not alone. God has reminded me of my past. And when I sense the presence of demons in my spirit. So I had a demon of the same degree. Um, I didn't exhibit the torment that you do. But God put me in a trance. I was in a church and I slowly dropped off my chair. And I curled up on the ground. I slivered and churned. Just that was the sense I had it when it was inside me and it's vivid. I saw what it was. It was a new Christian, but I knew it was a serpent. It was it was it was perversion. It was murder. It was rape. It was pedophilia, it was death. Although I had not done any of these things, it was a big demon whose ultimate hope in residing in us and me was to bring me to the to those very actions. What were the circumstances around this demon manifesting? And um, ultimately I was delivered that evening it was a video on Ted Bundy's life played in church as a testimony this demon that manifested I realize now it was the same demon that Ted Bundy had it brought him to the ultimate heights of Satan's glory, his most sought after, after acts. He looks for these ones who would do his will, just like this man, Ted. They'll be his stars, his, grounding, his crowning glory. But guess what? God got Ted back. After all that work, a lifetime Satan worked on this boy. He's, he's one of the lost boys. From a good family, as he uh, testified that pornography had him in his grips and it progressed to rape, murder, incurable acts to lead to the death of more than 30 beautiful young girls. So I say to Amy that this is the God you choose to serve. He is not something special. This is how she described a presence that she saw in an open eye vision as something special. He's pure evil. He hates you and he hates everyone you love. And you allow him to survive in your body. God wants to cleanse the body of this blood-borne pathogen. These are your words, Amy. The scripture says we are made free
it is it's it is you you've got some truth there it, it, it we've read like a blood exchange that supernaturally happens when we receive jesus as our lord and savior our blood is cleansed we now have jesus's blood he died for us for our sins and the acts that satan has brought about through us because satan's blood was running through our veins it has been for generations right back to adam and eve that first sin that came in with doubt the rebellion this is how we are born with this blood we need a blood transfusion to do god's will it is in our DNA to do Satan's will. DNA is a strong force. And all this is how God has revealed himself in the natural realm. So I think I've mentioned already that God gives me names, definitions, terms. So fact finders. I'm calling out the fact finders. I'm not a biologist, but there are just so many facts that are out there that support God's kingdom. And the function of blood is one of them. The power of the blood is one of them. You can liken this, this kingdom, and the power of the blood to this natural phenomenon. So I think there's a ministry in that. Another thing that Amy, I haven't watched Amy call, God calls her Amy. Um, has said that it's sort of saying that it is a virus and many who know a little about the manifestations of the spirit some of the signs to know that people have demons is that we'll see them come and go or manifest in a sneeze or an open yawn now these are symptoms of in the natural you know a virus being unwell when you're sleepy when you have a cold and an infection yet they'll manifest in that way and also how is it carried how is it carried in the blood it's carried in this infection it's carried in the act of sex intercourse outside of marriage where there's no way to monitor So there's no blessing in the union of that man and that woman. It's that mixing of the blood and this is where we get the soul ties. So once again, it, it, there's a crossover in the blood. And um, this is why we're told to not drink blood, not to fornicate. It is our own... It is for our own good. Ignore it at your own risk. And what do you think vampire stories are pointing to? All this popular culture. Is it a fantasy? No. Children are brought up on this. They're being acclimatised to this. So that it will be 